our biggest realizations is that before you build a product company, you've got to build an engineering organization first. So that's where we are. Why even Aether? Like, why, why do you make a company which is building a scooter? But the idea there was we didn't want to actually have a company. We wanted to build a product. We wanted to make something which serves a bigger purpose than just solving a problem. And the sense of achievement is not there for both of us until it's a huge uh, task or a mission. Aether technically started in October 2013. And at that point, the support that Dr. Krishna Kumar offered was supremely valuable. He basically said this, that, you know, don't worry, just leave the jobs, come back, I'll take care of everything. And then he offered me some sort of a research project. Dr. Sandeepan from our department offered Swapnil another research project. And this research project basically offered us a way to come back to the campus. The next six, seven, eight months were a pretty awesome phase. When you're not a student, so you don't have assignments, you don't have classes. But you're still in your department. You still have your labs, you still have access to all of those things. You haven't started a company, you haven't raised funding, so you don't have those pressures. It gives you time to think, to reflect. There was no complexity, there was no communication required because everybody knew everything because it was literally just two people to begin with. The idea of this Aether started not after they left the college. They designed this on paper even when they were in college. What they lack is a sort of an atmosphere to bring these two things into a product. And this department, I'm very proud to say, is able to give that kind of environment so that that would be realized as a product. The unique features of the department is that each course is linked to a laboratory. Many of them are unstructured labs, which means that you do a project in the lab. We thought that we should bring this joy of engineering to the students, that they would ultimately feel that they are doing engineering. It all started uh, in a very humble manner inside a lab on a floor mat and so where they just had all the tools scattered and they used to work there day and night. That place was almost like home in the department and that's where we came to when we came back. Build the first few concepts, battery packs, all of that stuff there. So after a few months when we started hiring people, that's when we realized that we can no longer camp in these areas in this way. Once our ideas reached a certain level of maturity, that's when we went to the institute, we took up formal incubation and took up our first legit office space in the research park. They were severely focused on building product. These guys had four prototypes within a 12-month period from the time they got five lakhs in funding through their professor. A smart startup is one who recognizes that by definition a startup is resource constrained. So if there are resources available, it is your almost incumbent upon you to use them smartly. What Aether has done is done a great job with doing that and now we are trying to use that model to say how can we increase the way we support others. Young guys who wanted to change things, you know, they said whatever is available currently in the market is not good enough. We want to transform the whole thing. First of January, we had four people in the office and we started actually designing the first vehicle as a company. We were started becoming aware of certain engineering concepts which go into a vehicle, the practical aspects, what can go wrong, what can go right. Connecting the first battery management system, that took us like two weeks just to connect one piece of circuit onto a battery pack. But the minute it did connect and you know the readings were right, oh, it was such a beautiful, beautiful time. I still remember the early days when they were here and it was just a naked vehicle and people were just used to take a ride around the Research Park campus and even in those days there were wonderful comments. I think the vehicle has come a long way. Aether was probably one of the first startups to get a direct investment from an alumnus in its early stage. This was one of the first companies that we assigned a mentor. The growth of mind, they started with vehicle, then they started working with battery, battery cell, but I think much more than that they recognized that if they can get 20, 30, 40 youngsters, get them to learn their best, deliver that, that will be the inner winner. Even when we became a 50, 60, 100 member team, we sort of remain with those structures. IID can provide you this very nice cocoon. You get to do what as an engineering student you're probably best primed to do, which is actually build stuff. Actually Chennai is very comforting. These are the first set of people who ever showed any confidence in the wild idea of two kids from college trying to build a vehicle. Still a long journey to go, but it's very important that we go back and showcase them what they had invested in and what, what is it becoming now. You know, it's an honor to be able to come back and celebrate the journey that we started on and celebrate the role that an institute like an ID continues to play in the development of a company like ours. Now we're glad that we are here.
you know, just a matter of few years, it has come to the shape that they're coming here, showing us their product, kind of homecoming for them. It's nice of them to come back here and reach out and uh, connect back to their uh, starting user base and then get back and show us what they have uh, done, uh, how far they have come. I think they have done a good job. They have done a super job. It's a very natural process of growing. A child growing leaves home. Our incubation part task has been done. Now, actually, they have raised a head. They have proven me more than right. Um, they have really gone and not just building a vehicle, but what they have built is an absolutely excellent team. It's very evident that these guys are both serious and having a lot of fun. And a product uh, that will come out of that kind of uh, synergy and that kind of uh, enthusiasm, I'm really looking forward to that. Reaching a stage where they are at right now, 150 going strong with a prototype out, test drives, we've just uh, seen that right now. Makes us all very proud. And the big part of how the company has grown is the willingness of the company to, to constantly be, uh, to be introspecting, looking at where they are losing sleep over, and then reaching out to gather information from everybody that possibly could have a perspective and learning from it. So that gives me confidence that I think this company will continue to reinvent itself as it goes along and find a way to be successful regardless of what the challenges are. Ether as a company has learned that the leap if they have to take working prototype into a product which has to be consumed by the masses, they need that gap to be closed. Learned it very fast and they're doing it. And I'm very proud and happy that these guys are doing it. As a teacher, I don't think anything pleases you more than when you see your own students successful. And as I speak about it, I feel terribly proud about it. I really find this uh, a very nice example of what initiative and perseverance can do. You know, all of us are very impatient creatures. We don't think, uh, especially with the first phase, people who are buying these vehicles are only our customers. I think they are a part of this complete story. They are. Uh, they are the audience as we are performing. If the audience does not take an interest in the play and all that they say is, hey, show me the ending, show me the ending. Well then, you wasted time by preparing for the play, right? So very excited about uh, the way it's turning out and where Aether is heading. Good, all this has been good, but they finally have to commercially succeed. And this is the next challenge. Obviously, a company uh, with 100 people needs a lot of coordination, especially when uh, the average age of this company is is in the late 20s, then it needs a lot more coordination. The challenge now is how they are going to use this 100 people once the product is out, once the first design is done. In fact, Aether has a lot more responsibility today. I think it's very, very early in the game. I think no one really knows how this is actually going to evolve. The thing with startup success is, apart from perseverance, it's also being there at the right time. The market is going to tell us whether sufficient number of people are open to the idea of buying a bike that's clean, that just works, that doesn't have all of the other problems. So all you can do is prepare. You can prepare your best. The road is always going to be hilly because it's a completely new terrain. We have no experience there. IIT Madras is a very critical part of this ecosystem. But for us, that has just been the start. Right? There is a solid year worth of testing, validation, and integration in front of us. It's a very exciting journey. It is an unknown stage in front of us. The thing that keeps you running, however, is this vision of when the final product actually reaches the end customer. That's when the story becomes very real. That's when the wheel finally hits the ground. Very exciting times ahead.